Okay. We're trying this again. Woo! Let's see if I can get all 600 of you back into this new stream. And if you're just watching this on the replay, we had something go all cattywampus and couldn't get the original live to work. So let's see. Crossing fingers. Crossing fingers. I see people showing up now. Better. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Don't you love technology? All right. And Rachel, Rachel has a 430 horseback riding lesson today. So I'm not going to really be able to run over. So we may not get to everything, which will be a bummer. But, you know, sometimes life just kicks you that way and you got to go with it. All right. So we're going to jump right into it. I already gave instructions for those who are here live and making their way back in live. Um, we are only at about 136 people have made it back in so far. So I hope more do. Oh, nothing like a little stress. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get going. You guys are all saying that it's better. Oh, took a minute to show up. It's already 4.30 in Ohio. Yeah, I get that. All right. All right. Let's jump to it. All of my mods made it back in. I know. I am. Breathe. What do you do? This is one of those things like you could get like really super upset and stressed and anxious and all of that. Or you just go with the flow and do what you can do. And I mean, really in our brains, it's a choice. And I, I, I'm not saying I don't ever freak out. Those around me know that I do have my freak out moments, but at some point you just have to go, what do you do? Okay. This is going to be our first item. And I think this is meant to hold, I'm not sure, maybe a recipe or a really thin little book or a really thin little picture because it doesn't have a whole lot of space here. Uh, but it's the cutest little cherries stand. And I'm just thinking that it's it's meant like to hold a recipe card or something because it's just that stinking cute. But you guys are resourceful. You do not. Well, if you've read, you only have to register with me one time ever. So if you've already sent that email, then you are good to go. Um, hopefully everybody got back into live chat, not top chat. And there we go. And that's how we do it. And I got uh, Rachel is <laughs> important that Rachel found the new broadcast. <laughs> She's over in the other room. So thank you, Rachel, for being on top of it. And if you just watch, Christy over here is giving announcements on what you need to do to register to make your offers and such things. I do ship from Las Vegas, Nevada on the West Coast. I use Pirate Ship to get you the best rates possible. And I send out invoices on Saturday evenings. That way, if you buy multiple things, we kind of can prepackage and figure out what that shipping is going to be. So, yeah, kind of remember, re reminds me of like a Mary Engelbright kind of a thing. And they are, they're acrylic. There we go. With little speckles in them. Give them a little, a little zing. Really super adorable. If it was strawberries, you know, I'd have trouble selling it. And sometimes Rachel has some issues with her internet. So I have to kind of keep a, oh, you can hang your face cloth on it. Yeah, you could. I have to keep an eye that Rachel's keeping up with the highlights because she's had some internet issues too. I'm going to have to get our IT department on that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Noah's very, very good about running to my rescue on things though. Bree says she linked the videos. Thank you, Bree. I appreciate that so much. <sighs> what do you do? What do you do? All right. Hello, Miss Pamela. Hello, Deborah Peachy Me. How are you feeling? All right. We are at $11 going once. Going twice.
And we're going to call this one sold. Wanda, I'm not sure what that number is for. Oh, you already got your Tin Man, Valerie. That's awesome. Noah is pretty fantastic. That is for sure. Oh, Tiffany, Thrifting Vegas. Uh, if you guys have been following Tiffany's journey into this new home, Tiffany finally got moved. <laughs> how's it going, Tiffany? How's the, how's the unpacking? That's the next phase, right? All right. Did I miss? I called sold on that, didn't I? Am I losing my mind? Did I not? Stand by. Oh, okay. You type stop instead of sold. Stop works too. Stop works too. Stop or sold, either one. I just missed it. All right. Uh, that is going to Patty of Patty's Garden and Vintage for $11. But I'm just looking. Rachel, are you still with me or do I need to take that off? Okay. Just trying to stay caught up here. Okie dokie. What do I have next? I have, I, you know, I just kind of pulled some different things that I've had in my little stockpile. And uh, one moment, because a price tag got left on this one. Hang on. We're actually doing some interviews this afternoon that uh, came in that I'm, if you've heard my saga, it's like, Hire somebody, and then they quit. Hire somebody, and then they quit. So I am in the hiring again. So we're running interviews this afternoon, and hopefully we'll have another new person soon to get caught up. You know, people say, but you don't have anything in your eBay. And that is because I cannot seem to keep enough people around here to get it all done. So eBay gets, like, the last of my attention. All right, all right, all right. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just peeling a price tag. That didn't get peeled before. All right. This is a John Deere haul truck with sprayer. It is an Ertel, if you can see there, anniversary edition, 2005. New in its package. The package is not perfect. It's good, but I know collectors like perfect. I wouldn't call this a perfect package, but it's, it's really good. But it's, you know, it's got a little bendy here, a little crinkle here. But the item itself is a brand spanking new. If you've got a John Deere lover out there somewhere. All right. And the, the video looks good now, guys, because that would say that it was indeed a, light, a stream yard issue. Something on their end. Yeah, Matthew, it's like, yes, I'm a very, very, very small business. Yeah, I would, I, you know, it was suggested that I look at temp agencies. And so I did that. And um, like this one agency I looked at, you have to pay 55% over whatever the, the, the salary you're giving. So let's just as an even number, if I was offering $10 an hour, I would have to pay $15.50 an hour. And I'm like, well, I would just give somebody $15.50 an hour. Like, why would I pay all of that to a temp agency? I don't, yeah. I just can't even fathom doing that. But yeah, that, that this is the problems with, with hiring and finding people. But it's all good. I know it will work out. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to know to keep messing around too much because I had a feeling once I checked the speed test and I knew it wasn't our internet, that it was a stream yard issue. 
So I'll, I'll be sending them a little feedback on that. There, Cause there's another company, Mikey, Mikey, weren't you the one who told me about another company that does the same thing where it's got, you know, the chat and everything that you can see. I mean, there's gotta be more than one company that does this. Oh, for sure. Tiger. That's how they make money. But a small business like me cannot afford to do that. Just can't afford it. So I'm going through um, Indeed, which is another company that helps you find people looking for a job. The difference with them is you, you pay for qualified applications that come in. So um, I think it's like $8 for the application. So it's a one-time fee just to get that, you know, because they ha they pre-qualify who they send you and any of the applications that come in that you reject and don't move forward with an interview, you don't pay for. So I, that's really like we're trying that. And so we've gotten five applications in that are all pretty good. So that's that's what we're doing. All right. I see Patty at 21. Oh, is it called Restream? Maybe I'll look into that one. I see Anna Walker, 22. If the commute wasn't so bad from Ohio, you'd apply. <laughs> that would be a big commute. All right, Patty's at 23. I'm going to count it down. Going once. Oh, I'll have to talk to Misty about that. Okay, I'll talk to Misty about how she feels about Restream. Going twice. and sold yeah so right now what i'm hiring is for uh a, a shipping manager i want somebody who knows how to do shipping how to you know because like what happens is i have to keep training people coming in and then i've like put all that time into somebody and then they they stop working for me and now it's like i can't get that time back so I want somebody who kind of already knows the basics of shipping and all I have to do is kind of fine tune my method that I like for packaging and stuff. So I need somebody with shipping experience, preferably somebody who has shipped breakables and knows how to do that and all, all that good stuff. Cause that's like, it's one of the most important parts of my business is that the stuff get to you guys in great condition. Uh, so it's a big reflection and, and you know, having the wrong person in that position can definitely break your business really quick. All right. It looks like the winner is Patty for Anna. I don't know what you meant to put there for your just in case. So I've got Patty at 25. Yep. Patty at 25. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next I have the cutest little cactus trinket dish. I should have this last week when I had all the little cute little trinket dishes. But here we go. He's kind of like a like an aqua sky blue kind of a color. Let's see if I can like a baby blue color. It's not signed or anything. Just got a little hole on the bottom there. Uh, but you can put your rings put stuff in here. You can put bracelets, whatever you want to put on that. Sweet little, and it's like brand new, like brand new. I see 11, $12 with a clever Maggie. I got clever Maggie at 12. There you go, Rachel. I've got Lisa at 15. Lisa is at 15. And the cute little saguaro. See, didn't pronounce the G. I don't know. It just, it's it's a harder word to say than saguaro. Because it's spelled saguaro. So, but I always get chastised when I say saguaro. <sighs> what are you going to do? I am in Nevada. $22 with Brenda. And let's count it down. Going once. Going twice.
and sold. Oh, heavens no, Carrie has not left. No, 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 no. Yeah. But Carrie can't do it all. <laughs> all right. And I'm seeing a just in case. And there is the sold. So it looks like we've got Lisa Reynolds for 29. Lisa Reynolds, 29 is what I see there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I have this really cool um, vintage piece of USA pottery. Again, the dust is free. <laughs> now, I don't know if this one would have had the pieces that went around it. And I was thinking as I was putting this in the sale, I'm like, I wonder if those pieces are still sitting at my Goodwill. Now, granted, they were green. I don't know how that would have looked with this, but it might have been pretty cool. So I'll have to think about that next time. Um, but nonetheless, this is a number 370 is what it says on the base there and simply says made in USA. USA vintage pottery, cool little serving dish, could put probably some different kind of nuts or candy, something small in there. Would you like it to be pistachios? Yeah. 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 Silly bird. It's a Spanish G. I know it's a Spanish G in Saguaro, but I'm reading it in English. So. <laughs> Hooked on phonics girl here. Hooked on phonics girl. Is it clay? It's pottery. You know, it's, it's your standard California pottery. Sunny, Sunny, you're so not vintage. You do not qualify as vintage. I don't accept it. $10 with Samantha. Oh, you were talking to somebody else. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Am I going to have an Easter sale? I don't even know when Easter is. When is Easter? When is Easter? I mean, I got, I got bunnies and stuff. <sighs> You don't pronounce the G in guacamole? I pronounce the G in guacamole. <laughs> don't get me thinking about guacamole either. Because I want some right now. <laughs> All right. We're at 15. Oh, whoops. I just got a whole bunch of chats came in. 16. Oh, it's April 17th. Okay. I think we can squeeze in an Easter sale. All right, I'm at 16 with Anna Walker. 16 with Anna Walker going once. You went to the same school I did, Gypsy Moon? Which school? Oh, the Hooked on Phonics school, you mean. Oh, okay, okay never mind. It just I, I'm like, wait, you, we went to school together? <laughs> going twice. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's Rachel. If you see the niche lady commenting over there, that's Rachel. <laughs> and we're going to call it sold. It would be good for guacamole. Guacamole. And there's our soul that is going to Anna Walker for $16. Thank you so much. Oh, now, now watch me talk a little French. Um, I originally was going to use this myself and I've looked on all of my walls in my bathroom and I'm like, I just have no, I have no real spot to put this. Uh, so I'm going to sell it because it's really cool. Uh, it is a little metal wall plaque with hooks and it's got this vintage 
kind of, uh, I don't know what this, I don't know what, I guess it's a perfume. It's a perfume. Okay. Podre de Ris Violetes de Parme Jean Gerard feels Grasse Paris. There we go. That's what you get from me. <laughs> it's all good, right? And now my phone is chitter chattering. Why is my phone chitter chattering? What's coming through? What's coming through? Oh, because I had not answered a phone call. So it was going to keep beeping at me until I acknowledged. <laughs> All right. I have 15 with Lynn. Grasse is where they make all the perfume. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Tiffany, Tiffany and I are on the same side of Vegas. Yes, we are. We are not too far away from one another. $20 with Lynn. Here is the back. I don't know if I showed the back. All right. We are going once. Oh, bonjour from Delaware. We are going twice. And sold. And thank you, everybody, who made it over to round two of this. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave that round one probably up because I like I, I had information. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because I was talking. Well, I guess maybe I'll just say it again and that way I can just delete that one. But I was talking about how. Yesterday, I went shopping at Savers again. And those who've been following me know I kind of uh, was against shopping at Savers for quite a while and decided to give it another try because um, Mikey Bags of Money goes live on Thursday afternoons and does some live shopping. And we went and did a live from Savers. So I was filming my normal video, but he was live. So if you want to go see a little behind the scenes of me filming the video that's going to be out on Sunday, you can go watch his replay of his live and kind of see the fun we had. Um, Sunny Las Vegas was there. Carrie was there with me. And so it was a blast. We had so much fun with it. So much fun. All right. Next item. Who did that go to? I'm sorry. I'm like so busy talking. Lynn, Lynn won that for $20. All right. The next item is this very, very dainty. It is a Famille Rose teacup and saucer. It's the one that's got the people. There we go. Let's see there. Get it to focus. And it's very dainty. It is made in Hong Kong is the stamp on the bottom. So it is an older one. Look how fun. Can you see the light shining through? Oh, it's not a lithopane, but look, look how thin that porcelain is. Woo! Dainty, dainty, dainty. And here is the saucer with all of the, I believe these are hand painted. It says, does that say hand painted? Decorated in Hong Kong. Okay. Decorated in Hong Kong. Doesn't say hand painted, but I bet it was. I bet it was. Penny, you don't need to put the little dollar symbol in. Sometimes that can cause you to have just that even quarter of a second delay. And then someone else can come in with that same amount. So you can just put a, a just the number, just the number. All right, I see Michelle Foster at $10. $12 with Corinne. $15 with Michelle. $16 with Linda.
I am not sure how to say your name. <laughs> Ad Adnama. So we're at twenty dollars. And are we all in all done? I'm going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Anybody else just like having massive allergy season stuff going on? Oh, my eyes just want to water. Oh, let me just put that out there. So Tiffany, I see, I see your message there. Um, people trying to get a hold of you and wanting to purchase things from you. So I'm just going to like say this out there for any of my people who, where are you going? Also follow Tiffany as she literally just got moved, just got her internet up. So please be patient with her. I know Tiffany will be back to you as quickly as she possibly can. So just in case anybody didn't see you type that in the chat, Tiffany, I just wanted to put it out there for everyone. What are you doing? It is way too early for you to come over here and be up in all the stuff because you get so scared. You get for real. You're so bad. Thank you, Jessica, for the super sticker. I appreciate that. You cannot, you cannot do that in my ear. I, I have ringing in my ear now. I have ringing in my ear. <laughs> oh, it's Amanda backwards. Oh, okay. I see a just in case from Linda McKee at 24. Five, but you didn't need it. You got it for 22. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, no. I have buttons. That's why. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. No, no, you, you don't get to bite me. You don't get to bite me. All right. Stand by. Must get rid of the uh, naughty bird. Get over there. Get over there. Go on. There you go. Buttons. I have to think about what I wear on bougie day. <laughs> yeah, you just went over here so you can eat my buttons, and I am not having it. I'm not having it, mister. Okay, next I have these really awesome, I think this is open too. Okay, I can take the top off. Brand new in their original package. These are Queen West Trading Company. They are, only one side of this is open, but I just, I have to show you these the colors on these fish. Look at the colors on these fish. They are a, like a wool felt and they hang and you're going to get them both. Look how cool they are. I love them. I love them so much. Yeah, they're the Queen, Queen West Trading Company and they call them ornaments, but they're hanging fish, hanging fish, where you could put in so many different places. It says, this is not a toy on the back. And they come in their original package. I've got Sonia at 12. I'm fading in and out. Am I? Oh, goodness. Are we having problems again? I see 15 with impish artist, 15 with impish artist. Not fading there. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Knock on wood. <laughs> All right, we're at 17. I see 21 with Sonia. Sonia is at 21. Oh, 
Did you lose your internet, Rachel? 21 with Sonia. All right. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. And we got JD come in at 25, as you can see. Oh, no, mirrors and birds is not a good mix. Not a good mix. There's the sold. $25 to JD Booter. All righty. What's my next item? Oh, I have a piece of Port Mirian. Port Marion. Okay. This says on the bottom that it's a candle votive, fluted candle votive, uh, but you could use it for a small vase. You could use it to hold brushes or something. It would not need to be used as a candle holder. It's got multifunctions. And look, it's got this beautiful purple flower on it. It's a Palionia Motan shrubby peony. It's a shrubby peony. I can say that. Goodness. What is it focusing on that it's not focusing on that? I'm trying to figure this camera out. Is it the same on both sides? It is the same on both sides. And it's got the little butterflies on there. And there is the bottom mark. There you go. It's kind of sad that uh, Port Port Mirian is made in China, <sighs> but isn't everything? All right, I'm at fourteen dollars with Sonia. Oh, they try to pick the diamonds out of your earrings. Yeah, they um, they do they do love their stuff. Oh, sorry on that last one. I didn't catch the 25 from Teresa. Okay. Or Therese. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a really, so um, Bougie will, Bougie gets to come out of his cage all the time. He's not a, a caged bird. And his cage is right next to my hallway where I have mirrored closets. So he, he jumps out of the cage and straight over to the mirror hallway where he fights with himself or, you know, the bird in the mirror. So. <laughs> yes, it can, bird, mirrors can do bad things to birds' brains, it, you know, cause them to get aggressive. It can cause them to get hormonal. Um, all things you don't really want. All right, Becky is at 16. We're going once. We're going twice. And sold. I did a really bad thing. What was it yesterday, Rachel? That um, you know, we have we have like safety upon safety with these birds, and Bougie's cage is never opened with my door opened and never with the dogs in the room, and somehow. I spaced and I would, cause I was, I'm just reaching in there to change the water and bougie flew out as soon as I opened the door. And I realized not only was my door open, but Ozzy was right there and my heart just about stopped. Um, so like I turned and like, like I yelled at Ozzy out, 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 you know, and, um, Ozzy wasn't even going for the bird, which is good to know, but it's still, it could have been really bad. Um, and I was kicking myself for that one. All right. That is going to, I don't think the just in case was needed. Was it? Uh, $17 to Becky Thompson, 17 to Becky Thompson is what I see.
Oh, Deborah, I'm just reading your update about like what's going on and they can't get your white blood cell count down. Urgh. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Okay. You have to cover your rear view mirrors. The birds keep attacking our vehicles. Oh my goodness. I mean like wild birds. Are you talking about wild birds, Teresa? That's crazy. I, you know, I never thought about that, but yeah, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Okay. I'm just waiting for Melissa to catch up before I move ahead. Y'all good, Melissa? There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, how cool is this? It's a phrenology dog, brand new in the box. I'll tell you all the things that he says, but you can read your dog's mind. <laughs> it's all the areas, you know, on the dogs. Sniff butts, pee on the carpet, hog the bed, bark at mail carrier, sit, stay, dig a hole in the couch, bark at outside noise, bark at inside noise. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what your dog is thinking? Understand where exactly in your dog's brain their emotions, likes and dislikes and quirks are located with an adorable canine phrenology bust. This kit includes a three inch tall designed and painted ceramic bust and mini book. Now, I, I'm i assuming the book is in here, guys. It's never been opened. It's brand new in the package, which is why I'm not taking it out. It is sealed with the original little sticker tape thing that this would come with. But there you go. There's where it all happens. We've got $8 with Deborah Tambasco. $10 with Susan Blackwell. Even your little chihuahuas having asthma. Yeah, a Las Vegas does bloom. It's because it was the place to go if you had allergies. It was this dry desert air, but everybody over the many decades who, who moved here brought all their stuff from wherever they came from. So they brought the plants and the flowers and the weeds and the things that everybody's allergic to. <laughs> so, and then you throw the winds in there and, oh, well, it's not the way it works. So Donna Bell's at 14. We're going to count it down going once. I see 15 with Deborah going twice. Same thing in Phoenix. Absolutely. Arizona. Same thing. Same thing. And we're going to call it sold. What do you do? I, I'm telling you guys. So I'm really, I'm the reason I'm drinking this so late in the day. Now, normally I drink one of these in the morning when I get up and I have now switched and I am drinking kombucha. So I'm making little steps towards improving my health and my immune system. So, but yeah, I'm, if I could just break myself from this, I would be better, but I love it so much. No, don't say that tiger. Don't say that. We can't start over again. Uji is a Quaker parrot. He's a Quaker parrot. All right. That went to Deborah for $18. Deborah Tambasco for $18. Nah, blue haired lady. I'm going to keep it at my start of $1. Going to, going to keep it there. Yep. Yep. Some of you. Yeah. It's a lot. I posted on Instagram that I was drinking that and like, everybody's like, yeah, that's really good for you. I like it because it's got the probiotics in it, which I'm hoping and not to get in a big diatribe about health and stuff, but a lot of our health issues start in our gut so healthy gut actually increases your health overall and, and 
strengthens your immune system and all that good stuff. So we have the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It is a vase. I think it's a vase. Or it says it's a tumbler. It's calling it a tumbler on the bottom. Here's what we have. A little sticker residue under there. It was originally $12.99 wherever it was sold. I have no idea what it's worth now until you guys tell me. So there we go. Leaning Tower of Pisa. And that is literally how it sits. What is the deal behind the Leaning Tower? Well, like, was it made that way on purpose or did something happen to make it lean? I, I, I probably should Google it and read what it's all about because it's always kind of fascinated me, but I just never have. <laughs> But there you go. All right. We're at $12 with Brenda. The sugar is high in the kombucha. Let's see. Yeah, it's got 16 grams of sugar. But if it's natural sugar, it's not the same. Natural sugar is not the same as processed sugar. The land shifted. The ground was too soft. It's sinking. Okay. All right. Ooh, that'd be a little scary to be in that building then, wouldn't it? Just saying. Earthquake. See, now I'm going to have to go read what it was all about. The third floor gave way causing the lean. It was originally a bell tower. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nice. I now know the history. All right, we are at $13 with Deborah Johnson. 13 with Deborah Johnson, 15 with Donna. We're going once. Oh, they don't let visitors in anymore. Okay. We're going twice. That's probably very smart. And Sold. Mm, I disagree, sweet kitty. I've done a lot of study studying on that. Not all sugars are created equal. All right. I put so much stuff like out of my reach. Why did I do that? That was kind of crazy of me. Okay, next we have. Oops, did I announce the winner on that? I'm sorry. Rachel, I'm 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 thinking about it. As soon as I start to go announce the next thing, I remember you told me, like, give you a chance to finish up the previous one. Sold to Donna Kales for $15. Thank you, thank you. Okay, next is this little set of glass um, candle holders. And they're all different colors. And they're like little fall leaves. I don't know who makes them. I believe the color is flashed on. But I don't see any scratching. Uh, but it's just, I'm guessing, I mean, they could be that color, actually. No, now that I say it, it does kind of look that the color of the glass is that color. You can tell by the base is the, you know, it's got deeper shades of it. So you've got red, green, yellow, and orange, little flower, flower, leaf, <laughs> candle holders. You're going to get the whole set for one money. Whole set, one money, getting all four of them. Yeah, I got to tell you, so um, my friends that run the channel, What the Hales, Jeremy and George, uh, they recently filmed a whole bunch of stuff in um, Egypt when they went on a trip. And the fact that you can still go into some of those like super ancient structures, I'm just like, <laughs> I mean, you can tell they're still solid, but gosh, there's something a little anxiety producing about that. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure. I mean, it, I would love to do it, but I would be, I would be anxious to do it too. All right, we're at 25 with Deborah. Going once. Going twice. And sold. And the winner is, they have to be refurbished every couple of years. I imagine, I imagine that is very, very true. Yeah. There we go. Sold to Sonia for $27. You guys, there's so much health stuff out there. You know, um, I really, as I'm getting older, I'm digging more and more in how to naturally correct things with my body and and get things straightened out and not, you know, have to take things to help one thing that creates a problem with another thing that you have to take something else for. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot to it. It's, it's a little, it's a little confusing at times, but uh, if you really dig into how we process things and how our body works, there's a lot of things that can be healed and corrected naturally and by eating the right stuff and avoiding stuff and all of that our food system has been horrible for human health and not that i want to get into a big conversation about that but i'm saying that to kind of stir maybe some of you with health issues to kind of do the same thing that i've been doing and dig into it a little deeper on what you can do yourself without having to take something for symptoms and, and correct. I have Crohn's disease. Most people in Crohn's disease are, are dependent on a medication. I have refused to go on that medication because it's a slippery slope downhill to, to nowhere's land. And I have been able to manage mine for the past 10 years, you know, without it. And I'm not, I'm not a doctor and I'm not saying anybody don't, don't anything I say, you, know, you have to go do your own research and talk to your own doctors, but but that's been my experience. Yeah, yeah. All right, I have a swung vase, but before you start, I got to show you there is a chip at the very base. It does have a chippy at the very base. Um, but here we go. This again, you know what I forgot? I forgot my tape measure again. I hate when I do that. But there it is. It is a clear glass swung vase. I'm gonna say it's a I'm gonna say it's about 18 inches would be my best guess. Let's use a, a 12 inch piece of paper, 11 and a half. So that's that's 11 and a half there. And that would have been eight. I'm gonna say it's somewhere between 15 and 16, 15 to 16 inches tall is what it is. And it's got this little like ribbed pattern here on it. And then it's got multiple fingers, multiple, multiple fingers at the top. But there you go. This would be really pretty to put some of like those glass, those art glass flowers in where the stems, you know, are all part of it because then they would show through. I have some of those too. I should always sell some of those. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking that that would make a beautiful bouquet if you had some of those. A $1 bill is six inches. I don't have one of those handy either. <laughs> All right. Brahita's at 22. Oh, thank you, Miss Karen. Thank you very much. Bougie, somebody wants to send you a present. How do you feel about that? What do you think? You're busy like pruning yourself. What do you think about getting a present? Would you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting lazy with your talking. What's that about? You're being lazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, we're at $32 with Clever Maggie. We're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And so. Thanks, Denise. That's why I don't, that's what's why I haven't gone in and been able to work a real job. <laughs> you know? I need the flexibility. It's also why I'm kind of anxious traveling and I'm kind of anxious being out in public and you're like it all kind of ties together. I'm sure you can, you understand. Yeah. All right. That is going to Clever Maggie for $37, $37 to Clever Maggie. Ah, see, there's more of us. There's more of us, Denise. Okay, this is a cool piece. If I can pick it up. Uh, it is, I think it's a homemade piece. And someone has attached this to hang it this way. Uh, it's like an, I don't know, it's got like an acrylic coating over it. It is signed. I know I'm, I'm having trouble coming up with words for it. It's signed right there. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. K wood. I think maybe that says, but you can see there's the, the butterfly underneath. It's very shiny, but you could change where the hanger is. If you didn't want to put it this way, you know, you could change it to hang whatever way you wanted it to hang. Could almost go any way you wanted it to. But there we go. So I'm just calling it butterfly art on triangle. Like I don't even know what else to say about this piece, but it is it is artist signed. And I don't know if it's a hobby piece or if that was like a professional artist. I'm trying to get it to focus to show you like it's glittery under there. It almost looks like it could have been a textile under there. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. And very purple. Very purple. <laughs> oh, wow, Patty. Yep. I see vintage tiny treasures for 15 Right, Mary? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the big pharmaceutical companies. I'm just saying. $18 for Penny. $20 for Vintage Tiny Treasures. $22 for Claire. $22 for Claire is where we're at on the Purple Butterfly. 25 vintage tiny treasures. All right, I'm going to count down going once, going twice. And sold. Yeah, so now now you know how doubly bad it is that I drink this. But I don't drink very much. I'm I'm very very good about limiting limiting it to one, maybe two a day. Cuz if I drink two, I definitely can tell. <laughs> Okie dokie, going to Vintage Tiny Treasures for $25. All right, we're going to do a choice lot. And then with a choice lot, I'm going to show you three items. And if you are the winning offer, you can choose one, two, or three of them. 
And then we go to whoever was next in line and next in line. So these are those little miniature Native American baskets that I picked up recently. Let's see if I can take one of them out of the box. Um, they're done. Oh, you guys, they're not baskets. They're pottery. Wait, I'm confused. Because they sure, they're done so good. They look like baskets, but they are, they are made of, I think it's pottery, ceramic. Look at that. Wow, I got fooled. I really thought they were baskets. It's not a basket. Is that incredible? So there's a bear. There is this one looks, I'm just calling this one the priest because it just looks, you know, like it's meant to be like some sort of a priest or religious icon. Those are fab. Like, I already thought they were really cool as baskets, but they're not. They're, they're little ceramics or pottery. And there's the sun. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's the first time I took them out of the package. I've just admired them inside their packages. I, I had a turtle, too. Obviously, I kept the turtle. <laughs> the turtle one I kept. But there we go. We are at $37 with Jasmine. No, this is your, your offer is for one. Your offer is for one. So if you were offering, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure Melissa knows it's for one. So we're with Melissa at 38. Melissa's at 38. It is for one, but you can choose one, two, or three. We're at $38 with Melissa going once. Jasmine's at 40. We're going twice. And we're gonna call it sold. And see what happens. You can buy them. Yep, you can take them all. If you're the winner, you can take them all. Oh, Mama Duck, it doesn't really. <laughs> it doesn't really. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Well, I said it was a choice, Amy. So yeah, I did explain that it was a choice. All right. My high offer is Lisa Reynolds. Uh, oh, goodness, you guys came in after the sold. So Lisa Reynolds, $46. Which one or ones did you want? Which one or ones did you want, Lisa? We got the bear, the priest, or the sun. Right, Darlene? So true. Let's see. Let's see what Lisa says here. Takes the bear. Takes the bear. All right. Um, next is Soup Beans Vintage. Soup Beans Vintage, you're next. Did you want one of these? Naturally flavored sparkling water. Yeah, I drink it sometimes. I do. I, 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 I did really good. I was off Dr. Pepper for 
for a couple of months. And then it's like I had, I just have one. And then that just got me going again. So. Souping Vintage takes the last two. You got it. All right. What do we got next? Oh, I got these really cool fused glass. I think these are fused glass coasters. Now, again, I'm going to point out right off the bat, one of them has a little ding in one corner. Just one of them, though. So here they are. They are this cool kind of orangey rust color. And I, and again, I, they might just be, no, I'm pretty sure that's fused. Um, like the speckles are, you can feel them and they're in the glass and it's got like, you can feel the texture on the bottom, but it's smooth on the top coming through. And that's kind of what they look like. You could use them as, um, candle holders. You could use them as little trinket dishes, but they are meant to be coasters. And again, there is one that has a little, it's like a, what do you call it? It's not like a chip chip because the whole corner's there, but it's, it's like a little sliver came off the bottom there. Just a little sliver. We're at $15 with Giselle, 17 with Christine. $17 with Christine. $20. It's not really a flea bite. I wouldn't, a flea bite is an actual, like a little chip out. And this is more like a, like a sliver. I'm going to say it's like a sliver. 21 with Sonia. We're going to say going once, going twice, and sold. Okay, you come here. It's not. No, it's not sharp. No. Nope. There's my sold going to Sonia for $21. Uh, just so I don't forget, and while I have nearly 800 of you here watching, I have created a group over on Facebook that you can buy and sell cool stuff. Like, it's exclusive to the group. That is a criteria. This is not cross-posted items from anywhere else. My viewers and my peeps get to come to this group and offer things for sale and buy things. And some of, some of the people offer things at really incredible prices that resellers can buy and make a profit. And some things are like super rare collectibles. Um, we encourage everyone to do better than eBay pricing in the group. It's exclusive, exclusive. And we hold really, really firm to that. I think, um, mods, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we're up to like 3000 people now in the group. So there's some real, real action going on over there. Yeah. 30, 3,100 members already in just a very short time. So, um, one of my mods, probably Melissa, is going to post a link down in the uh, description, down in the description, over in the chat, so you guys can come check it out if you wish. I don't put items for sale in there because I do this, but do you know who does? A lot of you have been asking. Carrie. Carrie is posting items for sale over there. No, there's no fees. That's the beauty. There's no fees. Uh, so it's really on the honor system between, you know, the sellers and the buyers over there arranging however they want to do payments. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. And uh, it's working really good. All right. Just wanted to let you know about that. Yep. Uh, Melissa just put the link right up there in the chat. So with love, it's called Vintage with Style. Buy and sell cool stuff is the name of the group. 
Um, okay, this is a beautiful piece that was sent to me by one of my viewers, and I'm going to offer it here. It is a white crystal, handmade in Italy. It is marked with a Murano right there. It's got the Murano sticker on it. But what's very super interesting is they did a collaboration with, let's see for that one, Capitamonte. So you've got Capitamonte flowers and Murano glass. And it's a napkin holder, I would think, or like a folded, I don't know what else you would use it for, right? It's, I'm sure it's got a special name, but it's just absolutely exquisite. And you can see the little collaboration mark is down here as well. There is the bottom. Turn it right side. There we go. There's all the info on the bottom. Super, super interesting piece. And it has this little thing that comes with it. They call it the little certificate. Um, it's, it's mostly in Italian. I'm like looking for it to be in English. It's in Italian. Italiano. There you go. That's coming with it too. All right. I see $50, which means we're in $5 increments, guys. $5 increments. This one is going to get double boxed. This will be double boxed as it is incredibly fragile with those flowers, but I have the best shipping team in, in the world. We'll just say it in the world. All right. $60 with Anne. And also remember at $60, you get a $15 shipping credit. So Anybody who jumps in and plays now, you know that $15 gets shaved off your entire purchase. All right, we're at 65 with Becky. Oh, you got your Boston Terrier. I know, isn't he adorable? That's one thing I can truly say is like, when you get the items, they're, they're even better in person than my crazy camera shows. So there you go. $70 with Elizabeth. 70 is with Elizabeth. 75 is with Becky. 75 with Becky. And are we all in all done? We're going once. We're going twice. And we will call this one sold. Put that with it so we don't lose it. Put this safely over here. And there we go. Got some just in cases coming in. And there's our sold going to. Becky Thompson for 75. Didn't need the just in case, but good job. All right. Then I go from that to a chicken. Funny how my brain puts these things together. Now we have this adorable, adorable little chicken who's got a little bit of a disability. Okay. You'll notice, you'll notice he just has one wing. Did I wait long enough, Rachel? I'm sorry if I didn't wait long enough. We're a little behind today. Um, he's got this little stone, this egg-shaped stone inside this primitive-looking wire. Uh, he's, he's, but he's only got his one little wing. You could technically, if you wanted to take that one off, you know, it would be a little bit more symmetrical because he doesn't really need it. He's still just a cute chicken no matter what. And I would say he's a garden piece. He's got his uh, rusty patina going. He's just perfect to go out in the garden. This back does come off. So I don't know if somebody put that rock in there later or he's meant to have a candle or something, but, or that's just how they had to make him. But there you go. He's just a cute chicken. 
There's a cute chicken. An angel chicken. You could be an angel chicken. Or you can make a replacement wing. You could, you could do all kinds of things with this guy. All kinds. Someone grab that wing for wing night. <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Is nobody, nobody likes this little guy? Can he just not follow? A, oh, that just happened. <laughs> well, apparently he has no wings now. I will include this in the package. <laughs> All right. All right. He's a, he's a wingless chicken now. He is a wingless chicken. <laughs> Better it happened now than in shipping, right? Better it happened now than in shipping. He's still cute. He's still cute. Debbie, just confirm you still want to be at $5. <laughs> It's like Noah dropping his taco on camera, right? <laughs> I got $6 with Tracy. Post wing loss. So we're good. His What? His left eye is on his butt? What? <laughs> you can turn the wing into the tail. There we go. We'll just... <laughs> okay. I got to make sure that stays with him now. <laughs> oh wow we're at seven dollars seven dollars with debbie eight dollars with debbie arsena we got the debbies fighting for the chicken i can't i didn't give him the wing act to me though i didn't do it it just fell off it just fell off oh he's a special needs chicken Yes, you can do whatever you wanted to with him. All right, we're at $10 with Debbie Grimes. $10 with Debbie. Going once. Going twice. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh. <laughs> and... So <laughs> it's not a free range chicken. <laughs> oh gosh. And there's our chicken sold. Debbie, you got it for $11. You got it for $11. Okay. Speaking of chickens. All right. The proceeds of this sale will go to Rachel. Rachel picked out this set while we were shopping and I am selling it on her behalf because she's just too shy to come on here herself. So um, you're gonna get the creamer. Now there are a couple little glaze chips on these pieces, very minor, but I'm gonna point them out nonetheless. Um, they simply say hand wash and Avon China. So they were an Avon item. You got the creamer. You got the sugar. I'm looking it over as I'm showing it to you to find. This one doesn't have, wait. Oh, this one does have a little chip right here under the lid. Right there. And you get the salt and pepper that match. So sunflowers and chickens. Who could ask for anything more? Um, this one has one little glaze chip on the flower right there. You can barely see it. But there you go. So you're going to get all four pieces. You're going to get the salt and pepper. And, oh, that's where I saw it. Up on top of his little comb here. That's on the that's on the sugar. And the creamer and sugar all together, the whole set and proceeds go to Rachel. Oh, Rachel. 
I'm saying this through the computer because I know you hear me. Um, I promised that I was going to show Melissa her painting if you have that ready. I think you do, right? Uh, and plus, I know everybody else would love to see your painting as well. That's why I said I'd show it here. So Rachel does these commissioned artworks that are pretty incredible. So hopefully she will bring that in here so I can show it to you before we finish today. Maybe she'll include an extra bougie feather if bougie happens to lose one on time. <laughs> Bougie's not giving up the feathers. Not giving up the feathers. Oh, hold on. Let me turn the camera off so that she can bring the painting in. Stand by. All right. Camera's off. Camera's off. You're scaring the bird. Scaring the bird. You're grabbing the bird. <laughs> You're making the bird fly across the room because you're scaring the bird. <laughs> All right. Camera's going back on. Eat that. Don't bet. There you go. Get the, there. Oh, at the bottom. Fix the bottom. There we go. All right. All is right with the world. I can turn the camera back on. <laughs> All right. I'll show it to you in just a second. She brought it to me. Where are we at? We're at $28 with Linda. Is that where we're at? Because I haven't been updating. $28 looks like where we're at. All right. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Start putting them back over here. And I'll show you the painting. Hey, Judy. All right. There's my sold going to Linda Imbus for $28. Okay. Uh, so, Melissa, this is the first time Melissa's seeing this as well. And uh, it's the moment of truth, Melissa. Bum, bum, bum. So let me know what you think of your little angel babies. I'll put that safely over here next to me. Okay, what do I have next? I know, isn't it great? All right, our next item is, I couldn't even find anything like this when I searched to run comps. It's a rhinoceros and an elephant in this acrylic, a blue acrylic, I believe, I don't, I'm calling it a napkin holder, but it might just be a sculpture. And that's maybe why I can't find it because I keep trying to search by napkin holder, but it does look like it's meant to, you know, put something down the middle, but it could just be a sculpture. I don't know. Is it like a, it feels older than 3D technology to me. It feels like an older piece and it's got some weight to it. So I don't, I don't think it's like one of the newer 3D. It's just super cool. It's just super cool. You like it, Melissa? Oh, no, we made Melissa cry. She's really, really good. She's really, really good at her her art, and she puts a lot of care into it. Like she wouldn't, she wouldn't even let me show it to Melissa until she fixed a couple little things on it. Have I been to the swap meet on Boulder Highway? Uh, was there two weeks ago and got some good money items to resell? Wait, Boulder Highway. Are you? I'm not sure where. Um, um, the swap meet as I go to, if it's on Boulder Highway or not. I don't know the address. All right, North Vegas or like Henderson? Whereabouts? Oh, is one of the tusks broken? I don't. I just don't think it's as long as the other one. It doesn't feel like anything's broken. 
per se, but I'll, I mean, I'll show you close up. It's shorter for sure, but it doesn't feel broken, if that makes sense. But it's possible. It's possible it's broken off. So if anybody wants to retract, I totally understand. It's really hard. I, it shows up better on the uh, screen than like looking at it in person. That's that's crazy. No, that glaze is not the same as used today, and you have no idea what firing temp to use. What are we what are we talking about, Kensington? Boulder Highway near Sam's Town. Yeah, is that is that north? Because I don't even know where Sam's Town is either. There's um Mikey, are you still here? Like what's what's the name of the swap meet that we go? It's got a name, and I can't even think of it right now. Oh, the butter dish. Yes. Um, I got the better dish, but you're going to have to watch my next video because I'm including my, my editorial on the whole butter dish experience. <laughs> Looks like a cookbook holder. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it could be, it could be resin, but it sure feels like acrylic and it's clear. So I know it's an odd piece. It's just an odd piece. All right, where are we at? Broad Acres. That's that's what I'm trying to think of. That's the only one I know about is Broad Acres. That's what I was trying to figure out if it's something else. Okay, Susan wants to retract her bid, uh, which puts us so Sandra D. Are you still good, Sandra D. Are you still good at twenty? I will count it down if you are. Confirm with me, Sandra D. Um, looking, yep, okay. Going once. Smaller Boulder Highway between Desert Inn and Flamingo. No, well then I didn't even know about that one. Gonna have to check that out. What do you think, Mikey Bags of Money? Should we go check that one out? Going twice. Oh, Jordan's here. Hey, Jordan. And we're gonna call it sold. Jordan and I are making some plans for her to come to Vegas and then for me to drive back her back home and uh that's that's going to be coming up so you will get to see jordan on film again soon she hasn't been in my videos for a long time now too long i don't know it's only been a couple months but it still feels like forever oh let's see we are at my soul come in Oh, that $23 is going to Linda Imbus. I'm sorry, Sheree. Wait, $24. $24 to Linda Imbus because she had the just in case. I can read. $24. A gong holder? Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. The painting is, that painting was done specially for... Melissa. Um, and, and the way she does these paintings is the person with the pet sends their pictures and then she paints those specific pets. She did one for, for Christy as well. Christy, yours, yours will be shipped out tomorrow morning. Um, because I'm including something else in it. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. I'll have to let her answer if she's taking any more commissioned prints right now. Uh-oh. Did uh, Was Linda not participating up to that point? Because that is one of our requirements for a just-in-case is that you must have been 
uh, participating on the item previously and the, otherwise we just take it as a normal offer and then somebody did then out offer you on that. So if we can correct it, stand by, stand by. So it would be Sharice, Sharice Fall, Sharice Fall, Sharice. Um, just want to make sure we got your email since you are a new name to me. We did indeed. Thank you so much. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I've got a groovy little, uh, I don't know. Is it a vase? Is it a chalice? Is it a tumbler? Is it a, who knows? what it is, but it's I got the groovy orange glaze, very mid-century look to it. Uh, it is not signed. I'm just double checking. Definitely a hand-turned piece. You can see that this was a hand-turned piece. That's the bottom. So the bottom actually could, you could reverse it. Like if you wanted to put like a candle or something in here, it could be this shape or this side is more uh, like a vase or a cup and it would sit this way. I don't know. It's one of those pieces that you just, you just don't know, but it could be yours if the price is right. So it's a nice weight, weighty piece. I, I don't want to say heavy because it's, I wouldn't call it heavy, but it's got it's got the right weight to it. It's got the quality you want in a piece this size. Is what I'm trying to say. It's what I'm trying to say. Free admission open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to go check that out. Definitely, maybe no one and I will make our way over there. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't looked at our yard sale map yet to see uh, which direction we're going tomorrow. That's so cool, Joe. That's some fast shipping then. See, if I had an order come in this afternoon, it would get shipped tomorrow morning. You did indeed, Melissa. It took a little while to get yours done with the two, the two angel babies in it. We're at $11 with Anne. $11 with Anne. 15 with Brenda. Kristen, are you selling there? Will I see you there? I see 16 with Anne. Ah, uh, did you, Linda? Hold on. Let me go back and look. Let me go back and look. You know what? That is correct. So that would count as you. I apologize. Yes, Linda, that would count as a $25 offer. You are correct. And you are the winner on that item. My huge apologies all right let me get back where we're at here we got it we got it covered we got it covered it's my confused brain today all right we're at 16 dollars going once Going twice and sold. Now I sold one of these last week and now I've got the large version. Let me just make sure. I'm sorry, Rachel, I'm doing it again. I'm pushing forward and you're not ready. 
There we go. There's that sold. We have a large sand paperweight. I sold a smaller one last week. See if I can get this to focus where you can see the design in here. It's mountains. Got some clouds. These things are just so crazy to me how they do this and just make sure they get that sand all where it needs to go. And then they seal it up. Boom. And it is got some weight to it. It is a paperweight, but look at the size of this one. Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. <laughs> It is beautiful. Very earth tone, earth tone colors. There's the one of the mountain peaks right there. I think that's the biggest mountain peak on that side. We're at $5 with Lisa. I'm going to try to go a little faster now, guys, so I can get through as many of these items as possible since we got a late start. So I'm at $5. $8 with Melissa. I see $8 with Melissa. It's it's at the point where I have to set it down for a moment as I multitask and work on something over here on the side. Don't mind me. There we go. Okay. Did what I needed to do there on my spreadsheet. We are at, uh-oh. Did I lose you, Rachel? I will take over. Clever Maggie for 23. Clever Maggie for 23. I am not selling the shirt off my back. <laughs> it's Snoopy, though. It is Snoopy. $30 with Lynn. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. And we're calling it sold. Yes, I do want to go back out to thrift and more for sure. Oh, you're in Yermo. Oh, you're doing some work for thrift and more. That's awesome. Say hi for me. Giving them a little shout out. Thrift and More is a store. So if anybody knows the drive between California and Cal and Las Vegas off the 15 there, there's like a whole stretch of not very much. But there is a little town just north just north of Barstow called Yermo. And in this little town called Yermo is this one amazing thrift store that I highly, highly encourage. Anybody who's making that little travel, you got to stop at that thrift store. You got to stop there. You got to leave yourself time to shop. You will not regret it. And um, tell them the niche lady sent you. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty true, Judy. That's pretty true. All right. Sold to Clever Maggie for $32. Okay. Where'd you go? I have another piece of glass. This is by a company called Kempel. Uh, Kempel made, I don't have my, yes, I do. I did not test the blacklight. Uh, I don't know the age on the Kempel. Ooh, it kind of, it's, it's got, I wouldn't call it glowing, but it, it, it does light up a bit under the black light. As you can see, it's, you got to ignore the purple part and just look at where it's like kind of just lighting up the blue. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. Uh, it is. A Native American on both sides. It's a toothpick in this like ice blue, I believe is what they call it. 
I know it's Kempel because it has the Kempel K mark on the bottom. It's in fantastic condition all around. No chips, no cracks, no damage. I do try to do that, Diana, but sometimes my brain is working faster than the lag. <laughs> it's the lag that gets me. It's the lag. All right, I see $20 with Linda McPhee. Um, Patty, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> and then my mantra in my head is like, you cannot make everyone happy. You are not a taco. <laughs> this is me, you guys. Like, This is not scripted. This is like, this is me sitting here talking to a camera you guys are talking with but nobody's really talking back to me so if i just sat here and focused it'd be kind of boring so there's i mean i have 760 people watching this who are actually many of them here just to hear me chatter or just to kind of follow along and watch they're not actually here to buy anything so i have to make everybody happy it's gonna make everybody happy. And that's why I have the most awesome moderators who do show you who won the item so that there's no question at the end. So it's all over there, it's all good. Of course you can play Debbie Williamson. Just make sure you sent me the email. If you wanna, if you wanna play along, just send that email. Because otherwise I have no way to get a hold of you guys once I end this broadcast, then it's just you're out in YouTube land somewhere and I don't know who you are. So I need your real name, your chat name, or we call it your YouTube name and your zip code. That's all you got to send me. Judy, I love you too. <laughs> We're at $32, $32. All right. Oh, thank you, Susan. You guys are so supportive. I've never had so much awesome support in my entire life. I got to tell you, it makes up for all those crappy school years where, you know, I was that like odd kid that nobody wanted to talk to and nobody wanted to be around and nobody wanted to be friends with. And, you know, school dances were painful because nobody picked this scrawny, you know, buck tooth glasses wearing kid to dance with or any like so it's just kind of like it's made up for all of that pain having this amazing support system now and all of you and it's why I try I do try so hard to make the majority of you happy and you know provide the entertainment and the education and everything that I can for you guys, because you guys mean the world to me. And you're right. I, I wouldn't have this. I couldn't do this if it wasn't for you. And so I work very, very hard at providing something that keeps you coming back. So thank you. You guys are going to make me cry. <laughs> I was like, you know, in, in PE, when they're like picking teams for something, I was that like last pick every single time. It was like, nobody wanted me on their team. Yeah. We are at $40 with a Stephanie Vaughn going once. Going twice. I know you guys, I know so many of you out there relate to that too. And, and I hope that me overcoming all of that, it, it helps you guys overcome stuff in your life too. Like that is just, that, that's, that's where my heart is. And we're going to call this one soap. <laughs> 
you guys. Oh no, Kim. Now I got the best team in the whole wide world. I love you guys. And I talk a lot. It's just who I am. And those of you who accept me for that, mwah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I, I, I know I said this on, um, in one of my live shows where I told, you know, kind of my life story and talked about how I got started being kind of in a public forum. And uh, I'll show you the next item and, and then we'll do that. <laughs> We'll call that one sold to Stephanie Vaughn for $40. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, I got this little stone elephant with some, I think, I think it's inlaid with lapis. I think like you guys tell me if that's what you see, because that's what I see. Looks like he's got some inlaid lapis lazuli in there. And then he is, he's signed on the bottom too. That's, that's all I see though. It's really hard to read what it is, but he's, he's a very interesting little trunk up stone elephant with a little inlaid uh, lapis. Um, so you guys know I have done eBay since 1998. And anytime I do something, I'm like one of those people, like it's, it's go big or go home. Like you go all into this or not at all. That's, that's my personal personality style. And so when I did eBay, I like, I went all into it. I got very involved in eBay. I, you know, became part of the eBay community. I built up my eBay store and then about almost 20 years in is when I started teaching others and eBay invited me to one of their events to be in a panel, a seller panel, which I was happy to do. And uh, I got done with that. And you know how people come up to the stage and talk to you after everything. And it was like, it was the people coming up to me and say that I inspired them, that something clicked in my brain saying, you know what, that's what I'm meant to do. That's why I have been blessed with the success that I've had, because I'm supposed to share it and help others. And that, that's my personal belief system that drives me forward in helping as many people as I possibly can. That's why I kind of laugh when, you know, people tell me I don't care, you know, I, like I, you've seen the comments that I've had to deal with. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, really? That's what you get out of watching me. Come on. But, but that's where it all began is like, you know, when it, when I found out that I, had the ability to inspire others like that's huge that's just huge for me so and that's that's what I'm all about Trendlin you like this one huh Noah should go pro himself cooking a dish in a dish you thrift his cooking style is a little bit more um I'm not sure it would be entertaining to, I mean, and it's not, I don't, I'm trying to say it not as a put down to Noah. It's just like his, he just kind of like throws a pan together and oh, just chops up some stuff and like puts it in and then puts some, like there's, I'm not sure like he's like cooking show format. I don't know. I'm not sure he'd want to do that either. He has a gaming channel. He hasn't done anything with it for a while, but he has a gaming channel. We are at $45 with Trendlin on the elephant. I'm so glad when you guys tell me that you were inspired by me. And then I see you go on and you announce when you sell your first thing and you tell me like when you're doing good. And that just like, I love that. I love that so much. Because there's so much doom and gloom out there. There's so much negativity. Uh, you can go find that anywhere but it's like there's so much positivity happening too and i i want to focus on that I just want to focus on all the good stuff happening 
Um, that particular painting that Rachel did was for someone like that. That was Melissa's pets that she sent a picture of and, and Rachel was able to paint that from those pictures. So she does commissioned work. We'll do something soon. I, I'll, I'll let her, uh, be the, uh, it, it takes her a while. Like it takes her a while because she's a perfectionist and she wants to get it just right. So she's got to work. She's got to work each one she does in. She's still, she's still supposed to be getting her Etsy channel up and up and going a little bit better. Uh, I don't think, so. I don't think Noah wants to go to college. I do not think he wants to. I'm going to go back and read all of these chat comments to you guys. It's really hard to like sit here and read them. Like, will I do this? But I will go back and read them. All right. We're at $50 with Trendlin. $5 increments now. We're going once. We're going twice. And sold. See what happens here. There's the sold. Oh, we had a little battle at the end. Ah, uh, let me just check something. This is the problem too. When I get the chat going, it's hard to go back and check who was participating. Oh, yep, you were. Okay, uh, stand by. Lisa Reynolds for $60. I'm sorry, Trendolin. Trendolin, I'm going to send you some pictures because I know Trendolin is trying to gather up some elephants for something, a project she's doing. So I've got some set aside for you, Trendolin. I need to send you the picture. I will be doing that soon. Noah will be successful no matter what it is. Yeah, that is so true. He absolutely will. He absolutely will. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, I've got a really cute little, I believe this is, Pi nope, I thought it was Pioneer Woman. It is not, stand by, I gotta change this Brie, hold on. I should probably look at, you know, what I'm actually selling. All right, Brie, repost that if you already posted it. <laughs> yeah, redo, redo, it's an Avon, it is not Pioneer Woman. I'm gonna show you right there, it's Avon, I thought it was Pioneer Woman, my bad. Uh, it looks just like the Pioneer Woman, doesn't it? But it is this beautiful aqua glass jar that opens up like a so. Shazam. No chips. No cracks. No damage. It's gorgeous. And then it closes back up just like so. Yeah, it really does look like the Pioneer Woman, doesn't it? That's a crazy, but it is. It's really pretty. It's an aqua blue color. I don't know. It's bougie color. Bougie color. Bougie. It's your color. Peekaboo. 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 What? What? Are you a good boy? Come on, say it. <laughs> Now I have to ignore him for a little bit. All right. We are at 12. Let's see who had the first 12. Who had the first 15? We're already at 20. Trendolin's at 20. Whew. Save me there. Save me. $20 with Trendolin. $20 is with Trendolin. We are going once. We are going twice. And we're going to call this one sold. Bougie has been quiet today. You, why have you been so quiet today? What? What? 
what? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll say something and I'll go. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's hilarious. All right. We have a butterfly. I'm looking to see first if it's signed before I put it up. It's not. We have, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'll get better. Who who got that last item? That is going to looks like Cindy Williams for $27. Okay. All right. I'll get better. Uh, we have a butterfly trivet. It is metal. It's got some scratches. I have not tried to polish this at all, guys. I don't know if all those marks would come out or not, but that's why I start everything at a dollar. And here is the back. It's got the little feet. Some of them it looks like paint. It does look like there's a little bit of like white paint on a couple of the little rubber feet, but it's meant to sit like that. And then you put your pan or your hot dish on it so it doesn't burn your table. And it is a butterfly. You're seeing the soul. That's because you are probably lagging, Susan. So I would say refresh, refresh. That's a lag issue. Uh-oh, Jovin. There's a lot of videos out there. You watched them all? <laughs> all right, I see. Oh, I might have lost Rachel again. Her internet does that sometimes. I've got Lisa for $7. Yeah, college is not what it used to be. It's just, it's used to be super duper important. You needed a degree to get a good job or career. It's no longer the case. It's no longer the case. Just depends what field you're going into. I've got Lisa for $8. I've got the other Lisa for $10. I've got Lisa Reynolds at $10 going once. Going twice. And we're going to call him sold. What I absolutely won't allow one of my kids to do is to go into debt to go to college. No way, no how. Yeah, we need those kiddos going into trades. No one's gonna no one's gonna work for me. We got the fam we got the family business going. <laughs> All right, the winner on that was looks like Riva. Riva, you just can put in the whole number. You don't have to type the dot zero zero, but you are the winner at $15 on that. We are going garage sailing tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Okay. Next, I have. Oopsie. This. Is it a mug or a glass? Now that I look at. Oh, it is a mug. Okay. So it's from the Slang Gang. It's a brand spanking new mug. It's a glass. It's a twenty-two ounce glass mug and it says queen on there a great looking woman who doesn't take disrespect from nobody is successful or is just killing it all over a badge of honor there you go it is brand new this is one of the world market uh demo pieces here and would make a great gift you have a queen in your life that needs a gift there you go for a really cool really big coffee mug or tea or tea mug 
or tea made by the slang gang. Oh yeah, you're gonna take your son garage sailing? Hey, kids can be great. Uh, there's little things that you can teach. You gotta teach them the lingo though. You know, most places you don't wanna just announce like you're a reseller. Although I think that most yard sale people now know, you know, it's not the same as it used to be. Um, but still, it's, you know, like little stealth language. Oh, do you think Auntie May would like this piece? It could be your code for should this go on eBay kind of thing. Yeah. Um, when my oldest daughter was pregnant, <laughs> the, the joke was that they would go out and say, um, that's, that's for the baby. But what their little code at home was, was it that was for the e-baby? <laughs> it's for the e-baby. So. I'm so glad you guys like the garage and estate because I feel like I need to break it up from like all the Goodwill videos. Like I'm trying to put some variety out there. And the way that the YouTube algorithm works is they just want to keep showing people Goodwill videos. So when I do those videos that are not Goodwill, they don't recommend them to as many people. So they lower my views, which lowers my income. And so I'm kind of fighting against that to try to get more consistency in some of the other things so that, you know, I get the right audience to come and watch that stuff. It's, it's tricky. The, the YouTube algorithm is a tricky thing. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's robots and it's like trying to deal with a robot brain. What do you do? What do you do? But I like yard sailing. All right. $16 with Heidi going once. How did let's get shop done come about? Because when I did my shipping videos, I would say, let's get ship done. You know, you know, a little play on words there. And I'm like, Oh, you know, let's just change it to let's get shop done for the shopping videos. Just so I have a little, it's going to be on merch. It's going to be on merch soon. <laughs> All right, we're at $16 going once, which I may have already said. Going twice. And, oh, YouTube has incredible control. And... Sold. Bots, bot city bots that read the data, that read all. Of, it's like it's it's crazy when you think about it. How much is controlled by non humans? I don't. Brie, I may not have called this one the right thing either, but we can correct as we go. <laughs> that sold to Heidi Esterholm for $16. $16 to Heidi. Yeah, the dog junkies thing, we will be doing that the first Monday of every month. And what I've decided to do is the Friday before, which will be the last Friday of the month, is going to be a jewelry sale here. That's going to help me make it much easier to get all of the shipping accomplished over that next week. Um, so that's going to be like kind of the schedule going forward. Okay. I have a fused glass piece as so. Um, and I'm looking the edges of the blue have a little bit of wear to it, to them. See the edges right there. Little, little scratching. There are some little round polished stones or marble. I don't know. It's almost, it almost kind of looks like sea glass on the corners. It's very interesting and artistic. And it wraps around the back on this one. As you can see how that works there. That's why I choose to sell some of these things like this in the live sale format versus putting it on eBay where I really absolutely have to be sure that I am calling it the right thing. 
and hoping that somebody sees this versus me coming here and showing you, look, guys, there's a little bit of, you know, wear there. You really can cannot really see it on the overall piece. It would sit like this and hold whatever goodies you wanted it to hold. And it's just a super glass drops. Okay, glass drops. I like I like that. Oh yeah, I def Judith, I definitely learned a lot from doing that <laughs> because what's happened is I have several people who have not paid their invoices. Uh, and then I had a bunch of people say, oh, I didn't, I didn't claim that. So I purchased all the things. So I have a bunch of stuff that will be probably in next week's sale. Wait, let me check the date. Yes. Next, next week's sale. Actually, so see next week already, this month already screws things up. So I will be doing the jewelry sale on the first, which hopefully that won't happen again. Hopefully, hopefully uh, the first of the month won't fall on a Friday again, anytime soon. Um, but yeah, so next week I'm going to have to put items into the sale that didn't get paid for so that I can get my money back because I had to buy everything and bring it home. So yeah, so that was like one of the lessons learned there. All right, we're at fit. It, it would look great as a vanity thing in a bathroom or to hold candles or to put some little succulents or fake plants. It's so many things you can do with this. We're at $15 with Donna going once going twice and sold i do still have the uh was it the, it wasn't the it was prunella the prunella fairy i still i do still have her i do i do Twenty-four with Mark. There's my sold. Twenty-four dollars to Marsha Rodstol. Twenty-four dollars to Marsha. All right, I have another piece of glass. It's glass day. Uh, what my research has shown me is this is a White Friars piece. It is a White Friars glass. Uh, it's a crinkle and it's an amber. And it's very mid-century and cool. There you see the thickness. And it does have a little weight to it, as you would expect a mid-century glass piece to have. And there we go. And we're off. Hi, Lynn. We're just glad you're here. Heidi, actually, my mods don't know what the shipping will be. I don't know what the shipping will be until I uh, find out where you're at. So did you send your email registration so that I, yep, you did. So you'll just have to wait for an invoice from me. Don't try to pay anything until you get an invoice. You have to pay through my invoicing system. It is the only way I can keep things operational around here. Uh, so just watch for that invoice. We will figure out how much the shipping is. It could be less than 15. The $15 that you see scrolling by here is a credit that I give. If you spend $60 or more in my sale, then I credit up to $15 of shipping, making it free shipping. All right, $20 with Brenda. You don't have to have a PayPal account. I, I use PayPal to manage my invoicing. You can pay as a guest and you can pay with a credit, debit card, however, any way that you would pay an online payment. So you don't have to actually have a PayPal. 
but I do send PayPal invoices. It's the only way I invoice and collect money. All right, where are we at? We're at $20 with Brenda, 21 with Deborah Johnson, 21 with Deborah Johnson. We are going to count this one down. Going once. Going twice. I know you guys are kind of battling it out. This is your time to get those just in cases in. Because I'm going to call it. Sold. You need to say sold. Can you say sold? Sold. 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 <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. And there we have the just in cases did indeed come in. Deborah Johnson, it is yours for $27. $27 to Deborah Johnson. You do not care in one time and one time only. All right, you guys ready for some absolute adorable cuteness? Stand by. I have to pick these up off the ground. Again, this is a new item from World Market. He's got, I don't, hold on. I'll show you. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Bookends. Look at the bookends. It's an otter. Otter bookends. Oh my gosh. Uh, absolutely incredible. Made by Streamline is the company. Uh, he's a resin. So he's got this really like textured fur. Uh, but And there are a couple little like I was looking at a couple little white spots. Like very, very minimal like whoops, white spots. See that? And I was trying to figure out if it was like pieces of styrofoam from however he was packaged or not. So I don't think it's styrofoam. I think there's just little, little areas of paint loss there, if you will. Uh, absolutely incredible detail. Look at the face. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, he's so realistic. And he's like, I mean, I'm sure he's not life-size, but... He's almost like life size. He's spectacular. Um, look at the detail on his little paws. Look at that. Look at his little paws. Oh my gosh. This can probably just be touched up with a little, little brown marker. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty fantastic though. Pretty fantastic. I love him. I love him. We're at $30 with Liz. $30 with Liz. We're at 34. He is close to life size. He's probably like baby otter size. Yeah. They used to have an otter at a pet store in La Havre, California when I was growing up. And I remember we'd go in and visit that little otter. Now I think how sad that was. He's just so stinking cute. He's so cute. They do swim upside down. Yep. That's how they, they usually hold their food. So they'll have like a, they'll take whatever they're eating, some kind of a shellfish, and they'll put it even like a little rock on their belly and they'll tap it open on the rock on their belly. They use their belly like a table and do such things. We're at 37 with Deborah, 38 with Ruth. I got Ruth on the 38 first. You seeing something different, Rachel? Yeah, right, Mom? I know. We always, and like, and he made these little squeaks and he's had these little rubbery little paws he'd reach through. Yeah. Your neighbor's pond has several, like, wild ones or 
they're keeping them as pets. Oh, for their otter, otter creek. I have sent what the hails all kinds of gifts. <laughs> Actually, I'm selling these for somebody else. So, all right, I'm at 38 with Ruth. Oh, they're wild. Okay, that makes me feel better. 38s with Ruth. We're going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. Oh, there was fish there, which is why, yeah, opportunists. And sold. They, uh, they eat the abalone off the coast of California. And we've got some just-in cases coming in. Going to, I see Deb Riley. Looks like you're going to get them for $41. Deb Riley for $41. All right. I'm going to do something here. Hold on, Bree. Hold on. There we go. We got to do a little refinagling there. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Okay, my numbers are not going to make total sense here. Maybe, Melissa, can you fix? You see what I'm doing over there, Melissa? If you could uh, correct those for me as I sell this next one. Um, this is an amazing paint. Is it? So it's not, it's painted, yes, but it's also. There's a textured design, like, I don't know what you call it. Is that embossed? Is that, I don't know. It's like a raised texture and then it's painted. This is made in Spain for, it just is H-N-O-S Pedraza. Pedraza. There we go. Oh, look, you get a little, you get a little uh, dog hair on the bottom too. <laughs> that will be cleaned off before it ships. But that is the mark. Pedra Pedraza, Spain. España. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece for sure. And here's the top. You can see in there. Ooh, you can see it, the hand turn, the coiling. So this is a very, very nicely made piece. Not like a factory produced piece. This is done by an artist. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, and it still came out okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. I'm just looking at my spreadsheet going, oh, hmm. All right. We're at $26 with Becky. We're not going to get through everything because we got a late start today. And because Rachel has horseback riding, um, I've got to figure out on my list here, what I'm still going to try to get through. Okay. We may run just a wee bit over, just a wee bit over. And I might just do something special. I usually spend the last 10 minutes on giveaways. I'm going to do something a little bit different today so that we don't, we can use that time to get in a few more pieces and I'll just do, I'll just do a special giveaway thing. All right. $36 with Becky. $38 with Donna. All right, I'm going to count it down. We're going to do like a quick fire, go through these last things. That's what we're going to do. So get those, get those offers in because we're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call this piece. Sold. Okay, Rachel, I'm going to be going fast. Going to be going fast. And 
There's our sold. Going to Becky Thompson for $41. $41 to Becky Thompson. Okay, next I have an old bottle. It's just an old bottle. And it's it's got a little smush still down in the bottom, as you would expect an old bottle to have. I can't quite make out the bottom. I think it says Warm something. W-M-B Warner is what I can make out on this. Maybe you can see something different. So I don't know what originally was in this bottle or how old it is, but it's a good size bottle. Great decor piece as a vase or whatever you want to use it for. We're going to go fast on this one, guys. We're going to go fast. All right, let's get it going. Let's, anybody want to start it at a dollar? I'm serious, like, I'm going to go fast because I'd like to get through just a few more things. Probably some kind of medicine. Yep. All right. I got two with Tracy. Literally, I'm going to start counting this down, guys. Don't delay. Going once. Get them in. I'm going twice. And sold. Boom, diddy, boom. That's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going to rapid fire through a few things. In a rapid fire. And the winner is. We just got to wait for the sold. There it is. $10 to Michelle. $10 to Michelle. All right. I'm going to go just as fast on this next item. I do believe these are De Serrano, although they don't have the De Serrano name on them. It's a nice little pair of the black footed little uh, like liqueur, I would call them glasses. Uh, there you're gonna get both of them and we're gonna start them at a dollar. And as soon as I see that you guys know that it's starting, uh, Giselle, are you on are you on this item? I just wanna make sure you're not lagging. I gotta make sure Giselle is on the black footed glasses. This is the problem with going fast because then that could stop everything. Let me know if this is what you were on, Giselle. If it is, I'll count them down. Yes, going once. There we go. That's how we're going to do it. Going twice. And sold. Uh-oh, you guys gotta you gotta guys gotta watch what's happening over there. We were already at $15. We were already at 15. Because I'm gonna go rapid fire fast through a few of these last items. I need them out of my office. Out of my office. And sold to Melissa for $18. $18 to Melissa on that. Same thing, guys. Be ready. If you do like a power bid, confirm the item for me. Please just put it like if you're going to do. Nope, Elizabeth, that went to um, that went to Melissa. Went to Melissa. Um, yes. So confirm if you if you power bid it, confirm that you're on the right item. And then we can I'm, I'm just going to start counting down if I see if I see power bids there. All right. We have a Starbucks mug. This, what is going on with the Starbucks mug? Ah! The Starbucks mug has a crack on the handle. I'm just, I'm going to show you. Somebody still might want it for a collection or whatever. We're, you know, it starts at a dollar. It sells for a dollar. It sells for a dollar. It is a Washington, D.C. Just want you to know it's got a little damage. There we go. 18 full ounces, 2007. We started at a dollar. As soon as I see some action, I'm going to count it down. Going to count it down if anybody wants it. Anybody, anybody want it? Does have the crack handle, I'm afraid. It's still very, very viable coffee mug. All right. I got six with Brenda going once. Seven with Puffles. Going twice. Remember, we're going fast. And we're going to call it sold. There 
you go. This is how we do it. And the winner is... I sure hate lag. I just hate lag. There it is. Going to Melissa for $10. Melissa for $10. All right. I have this little mid-century silver plate. Is it silver plate? No. It's stainless. It's stainless steel from Selandia, Denmark. It is marked Selandia, Denmark, right there on the back. So it's a little... Danish modern, if you will, right? Is that, would that be the right style? There we go. And I'm, I think Giselle is on this at $10. So Giselle is at 10. Thank you, Brenda. 12, 15 puffles. All right, we're going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it <gasps> sold. There we go. All right. These. Stand by, guys. I am doing a little something over in my spreadsheet for my moderators who help me with everything. Because the last lot is going to be a choice. Oh. Oops. Messing things up, Melissa, aren't I? Uh, that's going to Puffle 65 for $19. I have an Indiana glass. It is a milk glass bowl in the wild rose pattern. Wild rose is the pattern on this good sized milk glass serving dish. You guys seeing that okay? Seeing the pattern? It almost looks like feathers. but I think that's supposed to be like the leaves of the wild rose. That's what we got going there. Beautiful condition. All right. Hold on. Did we have a... Hold on, guys. Let me go back up, see what happened up there. I didn't... Oh... Um, yeah, I see what happened, Susan, that you're, I don't, what happened there? Some little character got in there instead of an O. So I, I see what you were doing there, though. I see what you were doing. Okay. You're all good. We got you. Okay. We are at $30 with Susan on the milk glass let's count it down did i lose you again rachel 35 with trendolin we're going once we're going twice and so Ah, Melissa, don't change what I had in there. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? No, 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 no. What are you? I, Melissa, leave, leave those, leave those lines there. That's why I just blanked them out. Um, we're doing something else. I got to do something else instead. I don't have time to do those last things, and they all need to be in the same sale. That's why I'm. That's why I'm doing that. 
Hold on. Okay, this is going to be our last lot. And I have, I have four of these. So, so this is going to be a choice. All right, sorry, I got to get the spreadsheet updated over here so I don't drive Melissa crazy. Okay, we got this. Last item of the day is a choice lot. So your offer is for one, and then you can decide which one or ones that you would like. Yeah, sorry, Melissa, I know, I because I, I didn't have time to finish it. All right, but here we go. We have the beautiful pottery trivets. Now, these are signs. So we've got the deep green with a little tinge. It's really hard to show you guys the color, but we've got this, and it's mobile. It's like a majolica glaze, very, very shiny glaze. We've got, uh, it's, it's like a, like a smoky green with blue accents. I'm not sure, you know, how we're going to call these. We'll call this one the blue dots. We'll call this one the blue dots. So just keep track of which one or ones you're going to want. So we've got the green and we've got the blue dots. And then these are like the blossom shaped. And we've got a blue in this. Blue in this. And we have the one that's like earth tones like earth tones, blossom shaped. They all, they all have feet, as you can see there, and they all have this maker's mark here. They're all got like a stamped mark. I'm covering up because Goodwill wrote on these and that should have been cleaned off before these came into the sale, but that's okay. Uh, they'll be cleaned off before you get it. So that's what we have there. Your choice. Be sure you are ready to give me your choice because we're going to count them down right now. All right. Who are we at? Did I lose you again, Rachel? Giselle is at 38. Trendelin's at 40. And we're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call them sold. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. There's my soul. Trendlin. You got it. $50. Which one or ones would you like, my dear? We've got the blue dots. We've got the green. We've got the blossom blue or the blossom earth tone. She wants them all. Well, doesn't that just make it easy? Thank you so much. Okay, here is what I am going to do as my giveaway today. As soon as I find a safe place to set these down. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them right over here. Bougie, would you like to come help me give some stuff away? Step up. Step up. Can you please not eat my buttons? Can you not? Why do I think you're going? You're going straight for the buttons, aren't you? Yes, you are. He's a bad bird. Look at you guys. Rachel, Rachel drew this too. She drew Bougie. <laughs> so let me see. I have... Okay, I have three of these, two, are, and I didn't write any of these down, Melissa, so I hope you have some quick fingers for me. Um, I have three of these little delightful dragons. So here's how my giveaway works. You must have won something today. Very important. Must have won something, uh, and we just slip it into your package. No extra anything. Are you scared of the dragon? Is the dragon scaring you? So I have three dragons that are going to go to the first 
three, don't eat the dragon. The first three people who put in the number three. Number three on those dragons. Let's see, what else do I have multiples of? What do I have multiples of? All right, those are going to Donna Kales, Patty Mize, and Brenda Doan. You get the dragons. Um, I know I've got somebody out there who likes clowns. So this little clown will go to the first person who was a winner today who puts in the number 16. Number 16. Number, what are you doing? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Are you good? Are you, hey, you're being naughty boy. I don't even have a pistachio over here for you. Okay, that's going to, oh, you can only win once. Can only win once, guys. Uh, Linda Imbus. Linda Imbus gets the clown. Then I've got a little, just a little acrylic butterfly uh, who's going to go to one of my first, one of my, yeah, one of my, one of my first, win, one of my winners, there we go who puts in the number 26, number 26. First to put in number 26. I can't even talk anymore. And that is going to, uh, I got doo -doo 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 -doo. Deborah Johnson, Deborah Johnson. I think I remember you winning today. Yeah, you did. Yes, you got the white fryers. Okay, what else? Let me see. Three, four. I usually have more giveaways than this, and I'm like so unprepared. Oh, here we go. I've got just a cute little ladybug. How about a cute little miniature little, I don't even know what it's supposed to be for. It's a ladybug. Actually, hold on. Is it a ladybug or is it a turtle? Oh, you know what's a turtle? I can let it go. I can let it go. It's a very special, it's a very special ladybug turtle. There you go. Going to go to my winner, if it'll focus, who puts in the number 55. 55. I know. You're going to get one of my turtles. Don't eat my buttons. Don't, 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 don't. Ah! We're going to get into a little battle right here on video. All right. Susan. Susan's going to get it. Okay. Whoo. I don't have anything else to give away around here. I just don't. I don't. A bird? That would, that would be me giving you the bird. That probably wouldn't be so good. We can't do that. Do you want to fly? Do you want to fly to somebody else's house? Because if you're naughty, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, don't you keep, don't you keep your sassy with me. Oh, Ha ha ha. Did you just laugh at me? You just laughed at me. Yes, you did. What? Are you trying to give kisses? Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh my goodness, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for everybody who ended up Coming back after that first fiasco of an attempt to have this sale, we still ended up being able to sell 36 items out of the 40. Uh, so next week, what I was going to have in the sale were, uh-oh, Melissa, what'd you, Melissa, what'd you do with my other things? Melissa, put those back. I need those. <laughs> I wasn't going to erase those. Melissa, you're too efficient. <laughs> um, I was just looking over to reference them and they're gone. I will have some um, quilts and some uh, crocheted afghans next week that were, there she goes, she's she's beautiful. She puts it back for me. Um, hey, stop.
some other vintage linens we will have next week, all that good stuff. Uh, so be sure you come back next week, plus all the other really groovy goodies. Uh, tomorrow's video, I don't even know what tomorrow's video is. We're getting ahead on the like the schedule because like Noah's working on all the videos for me. So he's ahead on video. So it's something that I filmed a few days ago and I can't even remember where I went. Isn't that horrible? I don't remember. Oh, it's uh, it's a Goodwill. That's it. It's the good, good. Oh, I remember now. It's the good, goodwill. It's the good, goodwill. And then Thursday will be a savers where I was shopping with Mikey Bags of Money and Sunny Las Vegas and Carrie. That'll be really interesting because it was a kind of a totally different thing that we were doing there. And then Noah and I are yard sailing and estate sailing tomorrow. So that video will be Tuesday. So all of that, and I'm going to work in uh, some different, you know, updates on the animals and stuff that you guys all want to see, show you the tortoise pen progress. But you are so being naughty. Would you stop already? Um, so yeah, all that good stuff coming out this week. Make sure you're subscribed and have that little bell notification hit so you can see all the good stuff. And with that, everyone... Thank you for being here and a big, huge thank you to my moderators who keep this all running smoothly. Um, I don't pay them nearly enough. Actually, what is going on in this bag? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? You trying to steal the show? What's your story? Can I finish this up? Can I do this without you being a problem? All right. With that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one, everyone.